so Brother Stanley begins to get these men grounded in the word, grounded in the word. And Brother Stanley was a faithful man. We were expounding the word of God and telling these men the way of the Lord. You know, we never had a piano player at the mission. God sent Dee Dee with her dad and mom and two brothers. And so now we're getting to have music. Praise the Lord. This was big. Yo, Lord, this was wonderful. Well, she's going to school, faithful to witness. So she tells this lanky boy <laughs> about Jesus. And you know what? She won herself a husband through her faithfulness of witnessing for Jesus. Yeah. Ah, uh, that was the payoff, wasn't it? Hallelujah, Dee. Praise the Lord. It was wonderful. And so we're, we're getting uneasy at the mission. The young people coming in were preaching half of the service in Serbian language and half in English. Time to drop the Serbian language. Oh, praise God. And Papa said to me one day, he said, Sister Millie, the Lord's going to take me. And soon, you got two men to work with. And they're good men. And he said to me, watch them. <laughs> if you see any of these guys moving off the word of God, don't be afraid to tell him. Tell him, don't be afraid. Praise the Lord. He got sick and was sick maybe about a week. Brother Nick took him into his home. But then a week, another week or ten days, this holy man of God was taken from our midst. And there we are. Papa's gone. You know, you miss a holy person when they're gone. This man could answer our questions. This man could pray with us. This man could advise us. He could do anything in a simple way. He's gone. Now, it's up to these two guys to get the mission going. Brother Dan found this property. Here's property was purchased. Before we purchased the property, Papa was gone. This was in process. When we brought him here to see the property, this man stood on the corner of the school here with Brother Nick and Brother Dan and myself. He stood there, raised his hands to God and he said, children, if this is what you want, go ahead. God bless you. Short time later, Papa was gone. But he asked God to bless us. And let me tell you, God did bless us by conversions of sinners to the Lord Jesus. So, we're going to start to clear the land here. Everybody that could do something came. And now, the brethren began to pray that God would do something in the valley for the young people. You know, it was that drug hippie time, you know, when God restored Didi's brother, whom we had led to the Lord at the age of nine, loved Jesus, but as he went to school and into high school, he got away. When he came back out of the service, he finds his family worshiping God and they're working on him. They're pleading with this young man. God takes hold of this young boy and saves him. David restored. Hallelujah! Joy! Thank you, Jesus! Now, David is going after his bunch now. So he finds Brother Chappie Mim. He finds Ramy Morris. He finds 
God knows how many. And the prayer meetings are beginning in, in their home. That overflowed. Brother Stu opened his home in Dee Dee and that thing overflowed. You see, we had a visitation from God above. Miracles overflowing the valley. What are they going to do? Overflowing in their homes, they opened the mission in Beaver and that thing gone. And the word of the Lord declared to these. And I'll tell you something. You can go through this valley and you're going to find them all over the place. And so the gospel goes a long ways across this land. It has a long ways. And to God be the glory.